What's going on guys? My name is Tista Stutter and welcome back to another episode. Today is primarily going to be me. I'm going to be practicing recording episodes mostly by myself. Um, the episodes for the series are going to be a mix of me playing with Melly and kind of just doing things on my own. I don't think there's always going to be enough content to be putting out episodes every single day and our time is always limited so gonna go ahead and just get familiar with making episodes by myself we're both gonna be on the server for a little bit but i think we're both primarily working on our own little projects and other than that let's go ahead and get right into it so if you guys remember last episode i happened to find a ton of spy uh, sp spawners just spawners in general um four of them being case fighter spawners and a fifth being a skeleton spawner so this episode, what I would really like to do is go ahead and start getting work done on all these spawners. I want to at least get them dug out, and then I want to start going ahead and coming up with a design or figure out a design for a spider farm to link up all four of these so I can easily be able to kill all the spiders. Um, but for right now, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this next portion into a time lapse because... I've got a lot of digging, a lot of clearing to do, so without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. I would like to thank the artist Roa. That song was called Moonlight, and they actually allowed me to use the song for free. They posted it. Pretty much anyone can use it. So if you like the song and you would like to use it in any video or anything that you're doing as well, 
Uh, all their information is down below. Make sure you check the license, and if it fits your purpose, feel free to use it. That being said, I'm actually going to go ahead and get started on most of these spider spawners. So I have four spider spawners, I just said earlier, that I need to get hooked up. And actually just came out with a design for this, and I made a full tutorial video for it. I'll put the link in the description as well. And I am going to be building off that design. This is a little primitive. I did actually build this version right after I kind of got a working version done. So this is not the refined version yet, but hey, you know, this is the starting place. So what I'm doing now is pretty much what needs to happen with the spawner is all the spiders spawn in, they fall in the water and they get flushed to about a four by four square. With that four by four square, I then need to make about a four by six waterway to flush all the spiders down with. That's what I'm digging out right now. Uh, so pretty much why it needs to be four wide underneath is that this two by hole, when the spiders fall in it, you actually make a V-shape with the water and that V-shape will actually allow, will actually force the spiders to always stay stuck in the center of the water. That'll make sure they have no chance to escape out of the stream by touching any of the walls and getting stuck anywhere they shouldn't be. So I've just finished the first couple, if you want to see as an example. That's kind of how I was talking about, how the water makes this V-shape and forces the mobs to the center. And this is actually the first 90 degree turn that I'm going to be using in here. And you can see, same thing, once I fall in the water, I drift straight into the middle. So I just ran into my first big problem. Uh, my stream is currently cutting straight into a giant lava pool. So that's fun. It wouldn't be a huge deal, but actually over on the other side, some water got spilled, not gonna lie. And there's quite a bit of obsidian. I'm gonna try to block off as much as I can and do the lazy way around it, but I think I'm gonna have to go grab some gravel here in a second and start getting all this cleared out. I didn't have a ton of gravel, so I kind of started just going and collecting some. And I meant to put a torch down, but I just made a path block. Ah, oh, look at that. That works. Nice. And that's stone. Ah, yeah, no, that's not gravel. <laughs> Whatever. I don't remember that, though. Apparently you can make path blocks out of the dirt if it's underneath gravel. Nice. That's definitely pretty convenient. So I think my idea is pretty much that I'm just gonna clear out what I can above here. I'm just gonna get all these blocks out of here, you know. And then I'm mostly just going to drop my gravel in. Hopefully just start to make kind of a little safe spot in the middle and then just kind of push the gravel out as I need to. I don't really think I'm going to collect any of this lava yet just because, you know, I don't really need the lava at this point and that is a lot of lava. I definitely am not going to need that much lava, that's for sure. But I think if I just go ahead and come over, oh, nope, 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 that was a bad idea, that was a bad idea. Uh, water, 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 okay. Added a little obsidian, but I don't know how we just got out of there on two and a half hard, one and a half hard. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it, it, it may, no, don't go back. It makes sense that that would happen. I just was not ready for that. <laughs> I was definitely not ready for that. I'm gonna go catch my breath. So I have cleared out a pretty good amount of that lava down there. I graveled it all out and it's an exciting time. I'm gonna do something that I've been waiting to do for quite a while on the server. It's going to be the first diamond pickaxe. Oh, that always feels nice. Look at that guy. Nice. This is going to be a nice upgrade. All I really need it for is picking up the obsidian, but yeah, it's going to be nice to just use a diamond pickaxe again. I actually kind of want to test it out right now on a couple blocks. I've been hitting my head down here a bunch. I'm going to clear these. Nice. 
Oh, that's so much faster. It's just like that little bit faster than iron, and it just it just makes such a difference, you know? It just makes such a big difference. Even though it doesn't, it feels like it does. But now we got some obsidian to clear. So, here's the exciting moment. The entire reason we made this diamond pickaxe, the whole reason I just fell in lava, it's to start getting rid of some of this obsidian. And this is about as exciting as I remember breaking obsidian with a normal diamond pickaxe being. Now that I've finished clearing out all that obsidian, I uh, started a little bit of work. Actually, I haven't really started work. What I need to do next is I need to start building the killing chamber. I went and grabbed some half slabs. I remember somehow I do this with half slabs and trapped ores, but... Man, I really don't remember how I make this thing. I know I need to let XP come through the bottom. But at the same time, not let any spiders through. So I know it's a combination of slabs and trapdoors. I just don't remember what that combination is right now. I'm kind of just winging this, but I think this will work. I got the trapdoors, the slabs, and the stairs to let a spider through. So let's go find a spider. So I just got the first spider to spawn. I'm gonna go ahead and block this off and let's go see if we can hit this guy in this hole. Come on, get in the hole. Get in the hole, guy. Okay, okay, you're killing me. Nope. Uh, get out the axe. Okay, okay. I think we made it. Nope, 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 nope. And I can't get out of a doorway. Oh, thanks, Mr. Spider. A another one? Another spider? Oh my god. The go to the cave? There's spiders. I go to the surface? There's spiders. Oh, I'm just surrounded by spiders. This is my life now. This is my life. Just a bunch of spiders. Oh, I was so close to making it out. I don't know if that spider would have still caught up to me, but I got a better chance if I would have if I, if I wouldn't have done exactly that. Oh my god, whatever. So next I'm just gonna start filling in these corners. I really just need to fill in these four corners with water. I'm not gonna take the risk of <laughs> any spiders dropping down and me trying to hit them in the hole with a shovel. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually start how this farm should be. And I need to patch this wall back up. I really hope that didn't ruin any of my water down there. Hey, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Nice. Okay. And I can just patch that back up. I'll come back and fill the room later, but I think for now, even with the holes, I don't think spiders are gonna get out. I think I'm gonna be okay. I got this all filled in. We actually got the dark room now. I decided to go ahead and just fill in all the walls and everything. Uh, we don't need that torch there anymore since we're actually gonna try this out. And hey, okay, let's go see if uh, any spiders made it down to my killing chamber. Okay, so let's see if anybody made it down. Did. Get one or two guys down here earlier, and I figured out that the stairs in the middle, the other way I had them, uh, the spiders went right through the center. It wasn't great. <laughs> I think I almost died again, but I don't think I recorded the clip. But my main problem right now is just figuring out how I'm going to get these guys to target me more. It looks like if I'm actually standing here when they fell in, like, that guy looked at me, but I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with it more. So quickly here, I'm going to spawn in Steve. Pretty much what Steve allows me to do is just... He represents an actual player. He gets the same mechanics, so he actually can start this mob spawner. Normally it doesn't start when I'm in Spectator. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like when you start actually getting these mobs spawning and they start flowing down the waterway. So here you can see I actually have spiders floating down already and they get stuck right in the center of the stream. And even as they turn the corner, 
they kind of want to climb and everything, but usually they always get pushed into the middle, which is really cool. I'm, I'm glad I was able to carry these things, like, and I want to say this is like almost 100 blocks, but now that I see this from the other side, um, that XP and items built up there, that's not great. I'm going to have to redesign this killing chamber. So I'm just going to go ahead and try this out. With a couple more guys again. I know the items are still getting stuck, but I wanted to see now that I have Steve holding the farm on if I might get a bunch of spiders in there if it's better. I mean, when there was a bunch right at the beginning, they were actually all sitting up on top. And now that there's only one, he's the only guy underneath. Which honestly, I'm kind of okay with. Like, if, if when a second spider comes, they always get pushed up. I'm kind of okay with there just being like one dummy spider that I can't reach. It's annoying, don't get me wrong, it's, it's super annoying, especially when he comes up and bites me. But I think I can deal with it. Um, I just can't deal with that. There's no way I'm going to be able to like keep breaking blocks and, and oh, nope, nope, no, no, okay, guy, no, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, let's, can we, can we get away? Can I put anything there? Oh my god. I swear I clicked that block. I just wanted to get it in before I died. Okay, well let's get rid of Steve and let's go grab our items. So it's getting kind of late. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and call the episode here. I'm not rage quitting or anything because the spiders keep killing me. Um, definitely nothing like that. No, for real though. I uh, definitely want to go keep working on the spider spawner and stuff in creative. Pretty much I worked on the whole water path and everything, but next I need to go build a killing chamber and whatnot. Depending on which I decide to prioritize, you might see the tutorial next or you might actually see this video first. Um, I'm about to be gone for the next couple days and I didn't definitely didn't have time to edit any of this and get it posted before I left, so I will be doing that when I get back. And other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night, whatever time it is. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.